Hello, um, my name is Tyler, that's my name right there, and this is the project that I made for Launch Code for my job applications. It's still a project that's ongoing, but I'm going to show you where it is right now, as of January 24th, 2017. So, this is an application that allows you to create custom tests and add custom questions to those tests and then let users take those tests. Um, I'm, I'm envisioning it as a kind of test preparation application, and it's in um, ASP.NET MVC5. So I'm going to start off by showing you authorization. We're not logged in as anyone. We can see the home page, which is pretty much nothing. Uh, you can also see the quiz bank page. So, if you try to take a test and you're not registered, you're just prompted to log in, right? So it won't let you take anything. You may be allowed to take this mock test. Yeah, this is just a gibberish test. This is Nisha Ipsum. It's it's like Lorem Ipsum. It's it's pretty much nothing. Just 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 for anonymous users. So, I'm gonna go ahead and register a user so that we can see what what they can see. So I'm going to call it <clears throat> tyler1 at gmail.com. That's my name. And I'm just going to give it a password that meets the requirements. And we're going to register this user. So there I am, tyler1 at gmail.com. And let's see what they can look at. So, question index, custom test. <sighs> Still stuff you can't look at. But, as a registered user, you can take tests that the admin has made. So, here we are. There's one test. This is not a real test. This is a test. It's an ABA. It's a kind of clinical psychology thing I made for my girlfriend. <clears throat> and we have a few questions here. So. What is an advantage of multiple baseline interventions? Whatever, you know, I'm, I'll show you this more on a, on a custom test that we make ourselves. So let's go ahead and make a test. So we're gonna have to log in as an admin. That's the admin I made. <clears throat> and here we are. You see you have the test, we have some, some options here. Um, we're gonna make a new test. So we're gonna call it Test alpha. There we go. We have a new test, and we're going to add some questions. So let's pick some some simple stuff. Let's. How about? Let's see. What color is a tree? So I'm going to say it's green. Could be blue, could be brown, but our correct answer is green. So let's go red. Okay. So we submitted it. There's our new question. If you want to add a new question, you click on custom tests again and add new question. Um, this, sim this seemed simple and straightforward enough that I did not really feel the need to add some other UI elements to streamline this, but maybe in the future. So I'm just gonna take one of my, my pre-made questions here. Let's see, what, what color, oh man, I was hoping what color is the sky would be there, but okay, it wasn't. So we're gonna pick blue and oh, what's a color the sky is not? Yellow? I don't really know. Uh, I'm going to leave these two blank. Currently, this is the test question scheme. It has to be four questions. In the future, I may, I may implement this program so that if you leave options blank, they, they'll just be removed and they won't be added in the questions when you take the test. But for now, it has to have four options. If you don't want to use them, leave them blank. I think users will understand that that's not the right answer. So we have two questions. 
And I don't feel like making you watch me make 10 questions. So we're just going to hop on over to the quiz bank. And we're going to take our new test, test off of. So here we go. What this, what this test is going to do is it's going to randomly pick questions from those, those, that question bank we made of two questions. And it's going to randomly scramble the answers. Um, so we're going to see a lot of repeats because there's only two questions. So what color is a tree? I said green, right? So I click green. I get answers correct equals one. Um, what color is the sky? Okay. I'm not sure why that's there. That's a thing that must that must be um, a problem with the list being updated. But it's all right. I made that when I recorded this video earlier, a few minutes ago. So uh, I'm going to pick blue. What color is a tree? Green. All right. What color is the sky? Blue. As you can see, it's scrambling where the answer is. I'm hoping we're going to get that. Um... Oh, wait. This is the question I wrote, isn't it? My bad. Sorry. I, I made this video a bunch of times, so I'm, my brain is getting loopy. Um, blue. We pick a wrong answer. Um, let's go with blank. You see, we got the wrong answer. Um, if you submit an answer and there's nothing selected, you get this error. Something went wrong. You probably didn't have an option clicked, and you have to click back. So, um, the way questions are currently the quizzes are currently set up is you have to your quizzes are all going to be ten questions long. Um, this was just from a developer standpoint what I wanted to do. I felt that 10 questions was a good amount for studying. Longer is kind of tedious, shorter is not very helpful. So <coughs> currently, quizzes, all the quizzes are 10 questions long. Choose these questions randomly from the question bank. Um, future implementations of this application may let users change um, how many questions are in a test and so on. Um, so click green. Bam, we get our final results. We got a 70%. Great. So currently, only the admin can make tests, but any, any registered user can take the test. Um, my next, one of my next um, updates for this is going to be allowing registered users to make their own tests, but it's going to be stored in a different section so it doesn't overlap with admin tests and so on, so that we can have an official test column and a, and a user test section. Um, also, I'm going to be adding that social media login because apparently that's a thing these days. And also, I'm going to be adding PayPal integration so that I can gate some content. My hope is that I'm going to be able to have some official tests and, and then we're going to have the user tests. And the official tests may require a fee to unlock, you know, if it's, if it's a particularly good test, maybe you have to pay a dollar and then you get access or something like that, right? Um, and I'll do that with roles and whatnot. So that, I believe, unless I'm missing anything, is pretty much what there is to look at. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of how this, well, I might as well quickly. So features that this, this, this program shows off are um, authorization, use of databases, um, I personally think this this test feature is pretty cool, and that's pretty much what what it is: authorization databases and this kind of implementation. I will have a few other features like auth authentication with social media and stuff pretty soon. It's also secure, but that's just standard. Anyway, um, that's where I'm at. Hopefully, this is this is a uh, reasonable project for application to launch code jobs. If you enjoyed it. I may make a second video. Oh, open up. I may make a second video explaining the code behind this, but that's that's what we got for now. Hope you liked it. Stay awesome.